everyone and welcome to Kiki Crochet. In this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to crochet step by step this beautiful necklace scarf. It's made for women's size. Um, and what I want to mention before I start is for women's size, I have worked a total of 12 circles all around. We're going to see that in the um, as the video uh, continues, I have worked 12 circles for women's size. Now, if you want to crochet for a smaller size, I wouldn't recommend any less circles than 11. Okay, so 12 circles for women's size, 11 circles if you want to crochet for any smaller size. Okay, now let's see the material that I'm going to use and how to start. Before we start, let's see the material that we're going to use. I'm crocheting with a Lisan Gora Gold and you can use either a solid color or a batik um, or a batik color yarn and I'm crocheting with a 4 millimeter crochet hook. Now this yarn is 80% acrylic and 20% wool and it's a mohair type yarn. So we do need a thin yarn, a fine yarn for this project because if you crochet with a thicker type the circles are going to come out thick and it's we're not going to have a nice result so we do need a thin fine type of yarn to crochet okay i'm crocheting with a four millimeter crochet hook for each infinity scarf we're going to need about one skein and uh the flower that we're going to crochet in the end you can either use the same color yarn or you can use a different color i'm using for my flower a leftover yarn that i have in white color okay so now let's see how to start Okay now, so let's start. I'm going to start by crocheting a total of 13 chains. So I'm going to begin with my beginning knot. Okay, and chain 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, now we're going to start this row by crocheting one single crochet in every stitch across for a total of 12 stitches. So skip your first chain, put your hook in the second one, and work one single crochet. So one, next stitch, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we have the first row with a total of 12 single crochet. Now we're going to start creating the circles. So for each circle we always start with 13 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, so after the 13 chains, go back 5 chains. Count back 5 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now put your hook in that 5th chain and work a slip stitch. Put your hook in the next chain, which is the 6th one, and work a slip stitch again. Put your hook in the next stitch, which is the 7th uh, chain, and work a slip stitch again. So starting from the fifth chain, we worked three slip stitches in a row. So those three slip stitches give me the height that I need to start working my double crochet in the center of the circle that was created over here. Okay, so instead of chaining three, I have a total of three slip stitches which give me my first double crochet. So yarn over once. Okay, put your hook in the center of the circle and work five double crochet. One, two, three, four, 
and 5. Okay, so I have just worked the circle halfway through. The other half I'm going to work once I go back to complete the row. So this is how the first uh, row of the circles is being worked. Always start with the 13 chains, okay? Work your slip stitches and work halfway through the circle. Now we're going to start again a new circle, again by chaining 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, so again, go back five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Put your hook in that fifth chain and work a slip stitch. Put your hook in the next chain, which is the sixth one, and work a slip stitch. Put your hook in the next chain, which is the seventh one, and work a slip stitch again. So what I forgot to mention in the previous circle is because we are working on a total of seven chains, we have a total of six chains distance between each circle. It's important that I mention that we have six chains because you're going to see once we go back to complete the circles that we need to know the total number of chains that we have in between. Okay, so after we work the three slip stitches, yarn over once, put your hook in the center of the circle, okay, and work a total of five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so again, we're going to start a new circle, which is the last one that we're going to work on camera, and the rest we're going to work off camera. So again, chain 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So count back 5 chains, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, put your hook in that 5th chain and work your first slip stitch next chain which is the sixth one your second slip stitch next chain which is the seventh one your third slip stitch so again I have six chains left over yarn over once put your hook in the center of this circle and work five double crochet one two three four and five so we have a total of three circles now go ahead of camera and work nine more circles in order to have a total of 12 once I finish all of my 12 circles I'm going to turn my video back on to see how to continue I have worked all of my circles so I have a, to a total of 12 one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, and 12, okay? So after the 12th circle, we want to work six, the last six chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So after those last six chains, what we want to do is, uh, before that, I want to measure the total length, okay? So the total length at this point is 71 centimeters. So if you're crocheting with a different type of yarn, you do want to reach a total of 70 to 71 centimeters for the women's size infinity scarf. So after those 12 chains, what we want to do is we want to bring back the beginning and we want to put our hook you want to close and put our hook in the first single crochet right over here this is where we started and this is where we're going to finish to close the necklace scarf and we're going to work a slip stitch before we do that though every time we were starting a new circle 
the the chains we're twisting every single time so what we need to do is we need to untwist in order to have nice straight chains as we go through to close the row so in order to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to place down the beginning base of the single crochet and I'm going to place something heavy to hold it there so I'm going to place my scissors what I want to do is I want to untwist and the chains, the leftover chains of the circles, I want them to look upwards. So start to untwist. So if you see your chains to be like this, even in the eye, they don't look nice. So make sure you want them to look nice and straight. Okay, so keep untwisting. Making sure the chains of the circles look upwards. Okay, so we're almost in the end. Here and now carefully place your crochet hook in the chain. Come up. Hold the base of the single crochet and put your hook in the first single crochet and work a slip stitch to join. Okay, so we just joined and we have a necklace. Now, what we're going to do, we're not going to continue working one single crochet across, but what we're going to do is we're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six and we are going to turn our work. So I chained six because the distance between each circle was six chains, so I'm always chaining six at this point. After the six chains, I want to put my hook to join the six chains to the circle in the front loop of this first double crochet and on the loop that's right beneath it, right here. So just, you want, your hook to go straight down through and through. Okay, you want to grab those two loops and we're going to work a slip stitch. So put your hook on that first loop of the double crochet on the loop right beneath it and work your slip stitch. Now yarn over once and go ahead in the center of the circle and work nine more double crochet plus the five that we worked in the beginning, 14, and the three slip stitches, which give me my double crochet, the first one, we have a total of 15 stitches in each circle. So after the slip stitch, I'm gonna work nine more double crochet in the circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, now in order to join and close the circle, put your hook in the first stitch that we worked and work a slip stitch. Okay, and this is how we close the circles. Now we're going to start the new one, which is the last one that we're going to work on camera. Again, we always chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now put your hook on that first double crochet on the front loop and on the loop right underneath it and work a slip stitch. Now yarn over once and put your hook in the center of the circle and work nine more double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
and nine. After the nine double crochet, put your hook on that first stitch and work a slip stitch. Okay, this is, we just closed our second circle and look how nice they look. Again, work six chains, one, two, three, four, five, six, slip stitch on the first double crochet, nine more stitches in the center of the circle, and slip stitch in the first double crochet of the circle. Once I finish all of my circles, okay, once I finish filling in all of the circles right here, I'm going to turn my video back on to see how to close the row together and how to start the new one. I have completed filling in all the circles and I have zoomed out so you can see what we're doing so far. Okay, so we started filling in the circles from here, going around, and we finished in the 12th circle. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to work six chains to finish this row, and then we're going to work one single crochet across for a total of 12 stitches, and this will be the beginning of row two. So all the steps that we have done so far was only row one, okay? So let me zoom in again so you can see closely the steps that I'm working. Okay, so again, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So after the last circle, again, we're going to chain six. Now put your hook in the first single crochet and work one single crochet. And this is the beginning of row two. So one single crochet and one to work one single crochet across for a total of 12 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and my last single crochet, twelve. Now in this last stitch, the twelfth stitch, is the stitch with, that when we join uh, the first time the circle is where we work the slip stitch. So in this stitch, you do want to work your last single crochet. Okay, so we worked twelve single crochet, and now we're going to start with our circles again. So start by chaining 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So we have 13 chains, again count back 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and work our first slip stitch, slip stitch in the next stitch, which is the 6th one, slip stitch in the next stitch, which is the 7th one, Okay, so again, yarn over once, put your hook in the center of the circle that has been formed over here, and work five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So this was my first out of the 12 circles that I need. So go ahead and work the 11, the next 11 circles of camera. Once I finish working the total of 12 circles that I need, I'm going to turn my video back on to see how to continue. I have worked my 12 circles and after the 12th circle, again, we need to work the last six chains of the row, okay, of this uh, side over here. So what we're going to do now, I have zoomed out so you can see better what the steps that I'm doing. We are on the left side over here, so we want to bring this chain over here on the right side of the base to close up and work the second row for the necklace. Okay, but before we do that, let me zoom in now again, we need again to untwist the chains. We always need to do this uh, because we don't want our chains to be tangled. So every time you're at this spot, at this 
uh, spot of the project, you always need to untwist your chains. And always you want the leftover chains in the circle to be looking up. Okay. Now my last circle and the last six chains, hold it there so it doesn't twist again and carefully so this is the beginning and this is where we want to finish on the other side. So put your hook in that first single crochet and join the row by working a slip stitch. Okay, so we joined the second row for the necklace. Now chain six to start filling up the circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn your work so your chains are on the left side now, okay? And we're going to start filling up our circles. So after the six chains, again, put your hook on this first double crochet on the front loops, okay, through and through. Join by working a slip stitch. Yarn over once, and again in the center of the circle, work nine double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Again, close your circle by working a slip stitch in the first double crochet of this circle. And here we go, we have closed our first circle again. So always chain six, okay, always, oh, sorry, always chain six, always slip stitch in this first double crochet, nine stitches in the center of the circle, slip stitch in the first stitch, okay, and go on to the next circle. So once I have completed filling up all of my circles, okay, after the last circle, I'm going to chain six, and then I'm going to turn my video back on to see how to finish the second row of the necklace scarf and how to start the third row and continue off camera from there on. I have completed filling in all of my circles for row number two. Okay. So this is row number two, the one that I just completed. And after the last circle that I filled in, by crocheting the nine double crochet, I have worked my last six chains to finish row number two and to start row number three. Okay. So after those six chains, in order to complete row number two and at the same time we're going to start row number three, is by putting our hook in the first single crochet and work one single crochet. So this is the end of row number two and the single crochet is the beginning of row number three and we want to work a total of 12 single crochet across. So this was the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and my last stitch, twelve. So those twelve single crochet are the beginning of row number three. Now we're going to follow the same exact steps. Chain thirteen, slip stitch in the fifth, sixth, and seven chains, 
work five double crochet in the center of the circle and then 13 chains and so on. So, so far we have made two rows of our necklace scarf. Once I turn my video back on, I'm going to mention how many rows I have worked in total and then we're going to see how to crochet the flower, which we're going to attach right here on the base. I have completed working my infinity scarf. I have worked a total of 18 rows of my circles over here, a total of 18 rows for the necklace scarf. Okay, after the 18th row, I went ahead and I worked. After I finished the 18th row, I joined and I worked for a last time my 12 single crochet. So after the 12th stitch, chain one, cut the yarn and fasten off. Now finish by weaving in the ends, this one in the loops of the single crochet and in the beginning one again in the loops of the single crochet. So the reason that I made a total of 18 rows for the necklace scarf is to make it puffy enough to keep us warm in the winter time because this is not just an accessory to use it as a necklace, this is an infinity scarf to keep us warm. So now let's go ahead and see uh, how to crochet the uh, flower step by step and then how to adjust it on the base to complete our necklace scarf. But uh, the flower is not necessary, it's not mandatory, you don't have to crochet the flower if you don't like it. So instead of using this base to have it on the front with the flower, you can put it on the back of your neck, okay, and have the necklace falling out on the front, okay. So let's see how to work the flower and how to adjust it on the base of our necklace scarf. And I'm going to start with my magic circle. If you do not know how to work the magic circle, you can chain three, slip this in the first chain to make your ring. And whatever I crochet in the center of my magic circle, you're going to crochet in the center of your ring. So start by wrapping the yarn around your two fingers once, bring it on the top left, put your hook under the right yarn, over the left and bring it under. Turn your hook around once to make a loop. Grab the left yarn and pull it through the loop. By doing this, you've worked the first chain and you've created your magic circle. Now work a total of six half double crochet in the center of your magic circle. One, two, three, four, five and six. Grab the yarn that you started your circle with and pull it very very tight. Now put your hook in the first half double crochet and work a slip stitch. Now I'm going to chain two and in the same stitch that I just worked my slip stitch I'm going to work two double crochet in the very same stitch. One and two. Now chain two, one, two, and in the same stitch you just worked your two double crochet, put your hook and work a slip stitch. And this is my first flower petal. Now I'm gonna work a chain one but very very loose. And because we're working more than one stitch in the same stitch and we are in the beginning, the next half double crochet is hidden. So what we want to do pull your stitches to the right so the next stitch comes up. Put your hook in the second half double crochet and work a slip stitch, chain two, work two double crochet in the same stitch, one, two, and finish the second flower petal by chaining two and slip stitch in the same stitch. Now loosely chain one, open up your stitches so you can see your next half double crochet, slip stitch, chain two, work two double crochet in the same stitch, one, two, chain two and slip stitch in the same stitch. Loosely chain one, open up your stitches so you can see your next half double crochet, slip stitch, chain two, 
work two double crochet in the same stitch one two chain two and slip stitch in the same stitch loosely chain one Open up your stitches, put your hook in the next half double crochet, work a slip stitch, chain two, work two double crochet in the same stitch, one, two, chain two, and finish this, the flower petal by slip stitching in the same stitch. So we have five flower petals at this point. Now loosely chain one, and work your last flower petal. Slip stitch in the next half double crochet, chain two, work two double crochet in the same stitch, one, two, chain two, and slip stitch in the same stitch. Okay, so we have a total of six flower petals and this is how our flower looks like at this point. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain three, one two three and we're going to start the new row of flower petals a new row means a new layer okay so what we're going to be doing we're going to be chaining three bring your hook from the back in the front in between of the two flower petals and put it right in between right here where we worked the chain one this is why I was mentioning to work to work it loosely so you can find it easier. So we're going to be working a slip stitch in every chain one space that's in between every flower petal. Okay, so I've chained three. Now put your hook in between the first two flower petals in the chain one space and slip stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. Put your hook in between the next chain one space between the next two flower petals and slip stitch. One, two, three. Put your hook in between the next two flower petals in the chain one space and slip stitch. One, two, three. Slip stitch between the next two flower petals. one two three slip stitch between the next two flower petals one two three slip stitch between the first two flower petals the last two where I begun okay so I have a total of six chain three spaces uh, as many as the flower petals were in the beginning. Now, every time that we finish, in every new row that we start of flower petals, uh, we're going to be adding two more chains and two more double crochet uh, in every row. So I started the second row with three chains and we're gonna work five double crochet in every chain three space. Row three will be with five chains and seven double crochet. Row um, four is going to be with uh, seven chains and nine double crochet, then nine chains, 11 double crochet, 11 chains, 13 double crochet. You can make your flower as big as you prefer. I'm only gonna work four rows, okay? So put your hook under the first chain three space and work a slip stitch, chain two, five double crochet under the same chain three space, one, two, three, four, five, chain two to close the first flower petal by slip stitching under the same chain three space, loosely chain one, Put your hook under the next chain three space and slip stitch. Chain two, five double crochet, one, two, three, four, 
and 5, chain 2 to finish the flower petal by slip stitching under the same chain 3 space, loosely chain 1, slip stitch in the next chain 3 space, chain 2, 5 double crochet under the same space, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, chain 2 to finish the flower petal by slip stitching under the same chain 3 space, loosely chain 1, slip stitch in the next chain 3 space, okay? So this is how the second row of the flower petals are being formed. Always loosely chain 1 between the two slip stitches. Once I finish working the second row, I'm going to turn my video back on to start row number 3. Okay, I have finished my last flower petal. Again, a total of six flower petals aligned with the ones of the first row. Okay, I've worked my two chains and the slip stitch in the same chain three space. Now I'm gonna start my new row of the flower petals. So I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Put your hook in between the first two flower petals in the chain one space and work your slip stitch. Chain 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, slip stitch in the chain 1 space between the next two flower petals. Chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, slip stitch in the chain 1 space between the next two flower petals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, slip stitch in the chain 1 space between the next two flower petals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, slip stitch in the chain 1 space between the next two flower petals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and slip stitch in the last space right over here between the last two flower petals. Okay, so again I have a total of 6 chain 5 spaces and start by working a slip stitch under the first chain 5 space, chain 2. Now in this row we're working 7 double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and seven. As we did in all previous rows, chain two, slip stitch in the same chain space, loosely chain one, and slip stitch in the next chain five space. Now all my flower petals are going to be formed in the same exact way as I did this one. Chain two, seven double crochet, chain two, slip stitch, loosely chain one, and so on. Once I finish row three, I'm gonna turn my video back on to start row number four. I've completed crocheting my third row. See how every row of flower petals are, are aligned with each other. Now I've completed my last flower petal by chaining two, seven double crochet, chain two and slip stitch in the same chain space. Now we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put your hook in between the first two flower petals in the chain one space and slip stitch. Okay, I want to do that for a total of six times. I did it one, so I need four, uh, five more chain seven spaces all around in the same exact way we were doing so far. When I finish, I'm going to turn my video back on. I have worked my six chain seven spaces. Now I'm going to work a slip stitch in my first chain seven space, chain two, nine double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And as we did in the previous rows, chain two, slip stitch under the same chain space, now because I'm not going to work any more rows, I'm going to go right ahead in the next chain space and work a slip stitch. If you're going to work more rows, you always have to work that chain one in between the slip stitches. Again, chain two, 
9 double crochet, chain 2, slip stitch, slip stitch, chain 2, 9 double crochet, chain 2 and slip stitch, and so on up until you complete the, th the fourth row. And this is how my flower looks like at this point. I've completed crocheting my flower, all of my four rows. Okay, I've worked my two chains in the slip stitch in the same chain seven space. Now I'm gonna chain one, cut a long piece of yarn because we're going to sew on our um, scarf, pull the loop and tighten up. Okay, so our flower is ready. I have completed uh, crocheting my flower, a total of four rows with my mohair type yarn. Now, in order to finish, cut a pretty long tail on this yarn, chain one after the last slip stitch and pull the yarn, okay, fast enough. Once you do that, turn your flower upside down and make sure you weave in carefully many, many times the yarn that we started with. Okay, weave it in in the center of the magic circle many times in order to secure the magic circle in the center as well. Once we do that, bring your infinity scarf, attach the flower and look how beautiful it looks once we attach the flower on the infinity scarf. Once you attach the flower, pin it on here, okay, to secure it. So the flower isn't moving around. Once you do that, with the needle, you're going to sew the flower on the base that we have crocheted on the necklace scarf. First, you're gonna start by sewing the center and you're gonna be taking your uh, sewing needle in on the one stitch, take it out on the next one. Take it in in the next stitch, take it out in the next one. Once you have sewed the center of the magic circle, uh, sorry, the center of the circle of the flower, sorry, uh, then you're gonna uh, start sewing going upwards, then downwards, then upwards, downwards, going upwards, going downwards, and you're always going to be taking your sewing needle in in the one stitch, out in the next, in, out, in, out, Okay, then take it back here, then take it down, and so on. And every time you're sewing, every time you're taking your needle in, down, make sure you're sewing in the base of the necklace scarf right over here to attach carefully the flower on the necklace scarf. Okay, once you have done all those steps within your ends, and this is what you're going to have as a result, a beautiful, necklace scarf okay for this one i have made a five layered flower using the same exact steps the only thing i did is an extra row of chains and with double crushing okay so this is our necklace scarf thanks for watching please subscribe and if you like the video please press like and leave a comment thanks again bye bye